Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. We've got a slightly different episode today because what we're actually looking at is some additional software that you can use within Photoshop and Lightroom. It's called the Nick Collection and it's been around for a few years now and it's a, a set of plugins that you use within Lightroom and Photoshop to do various adjustments on your images, whether it's adjusting the color, sharpening your images, reducing noise, or converting to black and white. Now the Nick Collection has been around for a few years. When it was first launched, it was actually on retail for $500, so around £350. In 2012, the entire uh, set of software was bought out by Google. They then uh, dropped the price and were retailing it for $150, uh, which is about £100 UK. As of the 24th of March 2016, Google have actually announced that the Nick Collection is now free to download. So, you know, anyone who loves a bargain, uh, you've, you're now getting some really powerful um, imaging software completely free. So if you're running Lightroom or Photoshop, it's well worth downloading and having a look at. So um, let's have a look. This, the Nick Collection actually consists of seven different pieces of software. You've got the Analog FX Pro, which gives you um, vintage looks. You can, you can recreate styles of various old cameras. You've got Color Effects Pro, which allows you to um, adjust the colors and uh, make color effects uh, within your images. Silver Effects Pro, which is a, a black and white conversion software. Uh, Viveza, which is one for adjusting really uh, saturation and contrast and making different color tonal changes to your images. HDR Effects Pro which, as the name sounds, is for making HDR high dynamic range images. Sharpener Pro, which, again, is fairly explanatory, is for sharpening your images. And Define, which is to help you to reduce noise within the any images you have. So you're getting seven very uh, separate pieces of software that work within both Lightroom and Photoshop for adjusting your images. So everyone loves a bargain. These are now free. Apparently, if you've already bought these for the $150 within uh, 2016, you will get a full refund. But if you haven't already bought them, let's show you how, how you actually go about getting them. So if you go to your favorite search engine and in the search box type Nick, so N-I-K, and we want Nick Collection, not Nick Kershaw. That will get you something completely different. So Nick Collection. And the first result here is Google Nick Collection. So click on that, and that will now take you to the Google Nick Collection page. And as you can see at the top there, the, the Nick Collection is now free. Uh, you can learn more. It, it, there's some information there on uh, the, the, just the announcement that Google, as of the 24th of March, are now allowing you to download this software completely free. So next thing you do is you'd click Download, that will then download to your computer um, uh, the exe file for you to then uh, go through and set up the Nick Pro software. So once you've gone through all of the download and setup uh, wizard that comes with the Nick collection, during that it'll ask it will scan your computer and see which programs you've got and if you've got Lightroom and Photoshop it'll tell you that the the Nick collection is compatible with both of those and it will load those into both of those programs for you. So next time you open up your uh, Photoshop or Lightroom you should see this which is the Nick collection selective tool. If you don't see this appearing if you come up to uh, file automate You'll have a little uh, thing in your drop down menu that says Nick Collection Selective Tool. If I click that, let's go. So if I take that out, if, it, if your interface looks like this and it hasn't appeared, go to File, Automate, Nick Collection Selective Tool, and there you go. Now you've got the Selective Tool within Photoshop with all of the separate programs on it. You've got the uh, uh, program for Define 2, Viveza, HDR Pro 2, Analog Effects Pro 2, Color Effects Pro 4, Silver Effects Pro 2, and Sharpener Pro. So you've now got access to all of these th this software. So you can now start experimenting and playing. I'm going to do fuller 
um, tutorials on these. But let's just quickly have a look at one of the options. So let, first off, let's open an image. Let's grab an image here. Right, we'll grab this one of the model. So we've got the image of the model here. Let's have a quick look at Analog Effects Pro. So click on the Analog Effects Pro and as you can see it's working now. And what it's actually done, it's put a separate layer in over your original image. So all of the um, adjustments you make are going to be on a separate layer within Photoshop. Now you can see it's opening up its own interface over the top of Photoshop and we're in the Analog Effects Pro. I'll do a fuller uh, tutorial on each of the uh, different pieces of software but this is just a real quick overview to see to show you just exactly what you can do really quickly with this software. Right, so image is loaded up and what it's done immediately, we, we're on what's called the classic camera setting and it's gone for the default one straight off there so it's it's giving it a very stylized look already you've got at the top here some uh, different buttons uh, this is showing that we're showing the whole view if you click the next button it's going to give you a 50 50 split vertically showing your original image and how it's been affected you can also then click and do a side by side as well and all of these are adjustable so you, instead of a side by side you can have it one on top of the other and going back to the 50-50 split you can click that at the top and rotate it to be a horizontal split rather than a vertical split. Let's go back to the full look now. Now I've got to admit I'm not overly impressed with the look of that but as you can see here within classic camera you've got some various options so you can click through and it will load up the various options you've got to look through within within this section. But with all of these, what I would say is, you know, is to use these as a uh, a basis for further edits. So let's try four. So classic camera four is looking. That's quite a nice look. I, I quite like the look of that. We've got a zoom button up here, so we click and zoom in on the image, and you've got a little navigator panel here that you can navigate around to have a look at your image. Again, you can do the 50/50 split and see what it was like beforehand and what it's like after the effect put that back to the full screen so that's a, you know that's giving you a starting point and we are also on this left hand panel here if you click the little arrow you've now got a bunch of different camera types black and white cameras and again you can see now we've got a bunch of different options here that you can choose and pick at your leisure and again you know you've got color cast toy cameras vintage cameras double exposure, multi-lens, wet plate. Let's go back to the classic camera where we were and we'll go back to that option there. So that's your right hand, uh, your left hand panel uh, with your basic presets. Come over here and now you can see what's gone in to making this preset. There's a, there's a bunch of different filters and um, effects that they've used to create this image. So if we open up basic adjustments. In this it's given us detail instruction, brightness, contrast, saturation. So if we pull the detail extraction back you can see that it's smoothing the image out. The higher we go up we're getting a bit more of a dodgy burn effect. Brightness, fairly self-explanatory. Contrast, make the image softer or higher contrast. Saturation, you can take the saturation way down, boost the saturation way up. Dirt and scratches is applying different effects over the top of the image to give it an aged look, so dust and fluff at the moment, and you can go quite extreme. And just giving your, your images different looks. I can see why they didn't take effect because I hadn't touched the strength. Let's do it on this one. Right, if you adjust the strength setting here, you can see it's introducing more artifacts to the image for the 
effect that you were choosing. Then you've got options like lens, vignette. You can see, pull it that way, lighten the edges. Pull it that way and it will darken the edges down to give you a vignette. You can adjust the shape of it. Adjust the size. And then you've got things like film type. So you, you can now go through various uh, filters and warming effects or cooling effects to the image. And you can see there's just a ton of ton of different options. And not only is there a ton of options, this is just in one of the seven different uh, parts of the Nick collection. So I'm going to leave it there. What you do now, if you, let's say we, we like that image, click OK. And that's now going to save that image and reopen it back in Photoshop. But it's going to open it as a second layer. So you'll see when it opens up, we'll have this as a separate layer above our original image. So we haven't actually done any. There you go. There's our image that we've worked on very quickly, just in the Nick collection analog effects. Turn it off. There's the original image. There's what we've done just very quickly, only using the presets that we that's available in there. And uh, it's a very, very powerful set of software. And at, uh, you know, at the cost of free, the only way you could ask for it to be better is if you ask for two of them. So I'm Dave Vickers. This has been The Photo Show. Until next time, see you then.